On this episode of What's Going On With Shipping, it seems like King Neptune must be angry. That's according to the quote from the story in G Captain today regarding the eruption of a mud volcano off of Azerbaijan in the Caspian Sea. It does appear that if the world's oceans are getting a little angry with humanity right now. I'm Sal McCagliano, an associate professor of history at Campbell University, former merchant mariner and an instructor in maritime industry policy at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. And today we have this, a mud volcano detonating off the coast of Baku. And I thought I'd take a minute here and talk about this and point you to some great sources on these type of stories and what exactly is this. So we're just coming off the fire eye in the Gulf of Mexico, which was a natural gas leak coming from a pipeline in the KMZ oil fields. And now we have this, a mud volcano detonating or exploding or bursting into flames. I'm not exactly sure what the terminology we should use here, but a massive wall of fire emanating to the sky. This is the story in G-Captain right here. And this is where that quote came from about King Neptune. Uh, the Caspian eruption, which continues to smolder, was caused by a mud volcano, according to the country's emergencies ministry. Mud volcanoes, also known as mud domes, are new landform created by the eruption of mud or slurries, waters, and gas. So first off, this is not a volcano. There's no lava or magma ejected from this. That's a, that's a big difference uh, from this here. It uh, goes on here. The fire co- uh, occurred about six miles from the humid gas field south of Baku, the Azerbaijani capital, and didn't affect nearby oil or natural gas pl- pl- platforms, ministry said in a statement. This is the Caspian Sea right here. Let me move my mug out of the way here so you can see a little bit better. There we go. This is the Caspian Sea right here. This is a landlocked. A uh, piece of real estate here. You have Iran on the south, Turkmenistan, Russia to the north, uh, Tur- Turkmenistan to the east, Russia to the north, and then you come down here in Azerbaijan. There's Baku. This is one of the largest oil fields uh, in the world. This area. This is the area that Hitler was trying to grab during the uh, uh, summer of 1942 when he was heading down here into the Caucasus. Uh, this is a thermal plume map showing you where thermal images are. And this is the site right here of where this took place uh, off the coast of Azerbaijan. Go back to the map right here. It would be right around here basically is where we're looking at right down here off of Baku. And again, a very big oil rich area right here. Go back to the story here. Move my mug again. There we go. Uh, Azerbaijani has basically the perfect geological conditions for mud volcanoes, said Mark Tinge, a geophysicist from the University of Adelaide in Australia. In a tweet, the fireball was a major eruption of the Dashley Island, a.k.a. Ignitely Stone Island mud volcano. This mud volcano had a major eruption in 1920 and 1945. And this is an image right here. I'm going to pull this up here for you and show it to you because he has this right here. And one of the things that I always like to do is, of course, go to uh, sources uh, involved directly in this. And uh, Mark seems to be the one to go to. Uh, Pulled up his CV, his resume from the University of Adelaide, and uh, absolutely just a stellar. So what is a mud volcano? So I pulled this up here from Science Direct. Mud volcanoes are cone-like structures that form when a mud, a slurry of sediment with water and gas are extruded from the seafloor. And this is not an unusual one because right here you see this. The Dashkil mud volcano located 2 to 2.5 kilometers north of the Altay railway station, which is situated 60 kilometers southwest of Baku. The volcanic cone is a flat uplift elongated in east-west direction. Technically, it is confined to latitudinal faults extending along the western Perkin linear access of the Tashkil structure. So this is basically a history of these mud volcanoes happening. And basically what happens is it sounds like to me, again, using my (laughs) non-geologist understanding is basically gas will basically expel out this mud that's kind of keeping it packed in there and ignite. And that's what we see happening right here. This is Mark Tingay. This is his uh, CV from the University of Adelaide. 
uh, definitely uh, over 20 years experience. If you look at his background, more importantly, I pulled up his research interest, which is this is it. This is his research interest and his publications follow right in along with that. And so I recommend if you're going to follow the story and get the best information for it. One of the things I like to do is direct you in the right way. I am not an expert on mud volcanoes, but this is an interesting thing because it happened in the Caspian Sea and it was uh, witnessed by vessels who saw it uh, get to Mark's uh, Twitter page. Uh, he's at, at critical stress underscore. Uh, and he's got a whole thread uh, running on it right now. And just taking a look at his thread, he uh, mentions this is from 15 hours ago. Okay, so right off, let's note that there's still uncertainty on this. The state oil and gas industry, industry agency so far first reported as a mud volcano eruption, but many reports doubt this and say it may be a fire from a rig or platform. So yeah, always those possibilities right there. Uh, there's a lot of mud volcanoes and offshore oil platforms in that area, so definitely an idea going on. He goes on here a little further. At first, Azerbaijan is home of, of mud volcanoes and has hundreds of them. My Google Earth mud volcano map, I got to love someone who has a Google Earth mud volcano map of Azerbaijan, gives you the idea of just how ludicrous many mud <laughs> volcanoes there are. Let's open up this in a new tab so we can take a look at this map here. Pull this map up here for you to take a look at here. Uh, again, you gotta love somebody who keeps it. Man, there's there there is a lot of mud volcanoes there, so it gives you an idea. Again, if you had no idea about these things until today, there you go, all over the place of Azerbaijan. Let's go down his threads a little more. And the mud volcanoes in Azerbaijan are some of the biggest, most violent in the world. They are on average several large mud volcano eruptions each year. Many of them have big fires. Here is footage of the Lakabatan erupting in 2012. Okay, that is uh, uh, that's impressive. It's an impressive uh, mud volcano right there. And again, this is methane gas, natural gas that just builds up and erupts. So uh, definitely a, a, an interesting uh, uh, image right there. Uh, I definitely added Mark to my follows here. Uh, the offshore region is lots of known mud volcano, mud volcano islands. These are islands because they've been able to erupt enough mud to poke up above the sea. Many others are submerged or erupt to form a peekaboo short lasting island such as Kume Bank. Did not know that. Uh, the most wildly, the most widely posted footage is from an oil platform, and I don't know its location, but here we see the fireball cl clearly visible on the horizon from the promenade in Baku, and I know where that is because I've enjoyed some lovely walks along it. Yes, nice little walk around Baku. Actually, I've heard Baku is a is a beautiful uh, place to go visit. That whole area there. The footage from Baku is right out into the Caspian, and so we can draw a rough area of where the footage is looking out to, roughly 50 kilometer distance. I think it's too close to be Kumdetnez, so it is a known. So if it is a known mud volcano, the most likely candidate would be of Markov Bank. See, Mark's doing a great analysis here. I got to say, this is the kind of stuff you like. Now, this is where it's interesting because I have a file in Markov Bank mud volcano because it just erupted. It, it has erupted just like this in 1958. Check out this photo taken from Baku of a large 500 meter high fireball from the 15 November 1958 eruption. I, again, I'm just you know love following people who know what they're talking about. So pre preliminary analysis is yes, it could be a mud volcano eruption. The limited info, info I have suggests Markov Bank. Let's go on down here a little bit more. He gets some more information. I guess I should add a bit of background on mud volcanoes and these fireballs are anyone unfamiliar. Mud volcanoes are natural uh, where deep pressured muddy fluids are erupted to the surface. There are thousands of mud volcanoes onshore and offshore and they come in a wide variety of, of sizes. It's a guy just perfectly fitted here. Mud volcanoes such as the one in Azerbaijan can be seen, can also be plumbed into active hydrocarbon systems. And so they can erupt oil and natural gas as well as mud. Hence they burn when the grass ignites. This is very, uh, I gotta say, it's very similar to the fire eye we saw the other day uh, erupting through there. Again, the fire eye was, was man-made. That was a, uh, a leak from a natural gas pipe. This appears to be natural. About 25% of mud volcanoes in Azerbaijan show violent erupt behavior, including big fireballs. Just another peak to live in Azerbaijani folks. You might ask what it causes them to ignite. Well, we're not sure. Most likely I think are sparks from the rocks and the mud getting banged together as they are violently erupted. But some suggest the rapid pressure changes alone may be enough to ignite the gas. Yeah, that's a bit disturbing. So a lot of people asking about oil industry activity in the area. In short, there is too much to count. Azerbaijan has an older oil industry than the U.S. That's true. Well, Azerbaijan is, is literally a float in oil. It's the northern end of that Caspian uh, Sea field that actually goes down into Iran and northern Iraq. 
There are thousands of oil wells offshore and onshore, many of them going back into this deep Soviet era times and Soviet era type technology, always a, a little bit of, of shaky. So we certainly can't rule out something may have happened on an offshore oil platform. Yeah, there are tons of them in this area. I'm also getting some questions about mud volcanoes historically and linkages between uh, mud volcanoes and the Azeri oil industry. Did you know that Marco Polo discusses the natural fires and mud oil seeps of Azerbaijan? Bang, Marco Polo just everywhere. And, and shipping too. We did a whole video on the Marco Polo visit to the East Coast of the United States. See, it's all related, people. It all comes together. Natural fires of Azerbaijan are also central to the country's national symbolism and are worshipped in Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism, uh, light and dark. Uh, many people believe that gives us the uh, idea of duality in, in religion. In it. And so these ideas of fires, the gates of hell type stuff, uh, heaven and hell uh, come in from this region. Man, learning a lot here on just mud volcanoes going off. Go on a little bit here. Let's get to the update. Huge thanks to, uh, oh, sorry, lost that one there. There we go. Who noted a thermal anomaly detected by NASA and NOAA. NASA and NOAA runs satellites all over the world. Not sure this is the flame as it could be one of the many oil field flares, but it's time for uh, roughly one hour after the reported fireball. The thermal anomaly is, is a lot further south than I would have thought visible from Baku. However, it's very interesting that when I put these coordinates into Google Earth, they are smack bang exactly the coordinates of the Ignite Stone Island mud volcano. Update. Now, please keep in mind that we don't know if the thermal anomaly even is the fireball scene. Unfortunately, I don't have much about Ignite Stone Island mud volcano other than it's a tiny mud volcano just poking up from the Caspian Sea. Mark goes on here. If the fireball is Ignite Stone Island, then it must be one of a string of mud volcanoes along the crest of the big anticline that includes the major. OK, I'm not even going to try those mud volcano names. <laughs> I, I kill enough uh, words around here. I, I probably don't need to do it. Uh, he goes on here to talk about this. I even did a little thread previously on this. Again, I, I would follow Mark if you hadn't done so yet. Let's see. So some more evidence indicating maybe Ign Ignite Stone Island or one of the mud vessel, uh, mud volcanoes near there. And he keeps going on here. Here we go. Uh, have, here you can see the Kumani Bank mud volcano built from its May 2001 eruption, and it's gone again by the end of 2002. You can see the same thing in 1993 and 1994. Keeps going on. The original viral footage of the fire is reported in a few places being filmed from the Umid gas field. This is located roughly here in the image below. We don't know the direction the footage was taken, but it's definitely in the right area. Uh, and then he goes on interesting things about the Azari mud volcanoes. They tend to have multiple names. Let's see. Let's, I think we're getting down here to the end of his right here. Uh, so he's answering questions at this point. And he's going on. I think that's it. He's at there. Yep. He's just answering questions at this point. So definitely, if you've uh, not followed Mark, definitely a, a, a guy to follow right there. Boom. Following Mark because it's definitely worth it to uh, always follow an expert on this. So again, the story is right here in G-Captain. I'll have all these links, including the links over to Mark's Twitter feed, uh, if you're interested. Uh, and again, all these links to explanations about what mud volcanoes are and how they play out. Again, just a, an amazing images, images right here. Uh, we're seeing a lot going on around the world. Uh, impact this has, who knows? Uh, probably uh, not too major in terms of oil transportation and shipping. Now, if this is an oil rig fire, that could have, of course, ramifications. Well, we'll have to wait and see. But according to the Azerbaijani uh, Ministry on Oil, that this is a mud volcano. So we will see. So this is Sal McCagliano signing off. I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's Going On With Shipping. And if you did, please subscribe. Go ahead, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos when they come in. Also, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it on social media with other people so that they can find out about the channel. This is Sal signing off.